Good morning. Jesus loved children. You know that, right? Jesus valued children and wanted them to be able to hear his words. Jesus wanted people to start right as children to live and love in his example. Jesus wasn't telling when you grow up messages. He was teaching start right now, no matter how young or old you are messages. He didn't want children to think that they were too young to do good things or too young to make a difference. I can think of a Bible story that involves a child who kind of saves the day because of his generosity. Jesus had been teaching all day long and crowds had gathered to listen to him. By the end of the day, everyone was hungry. The crowd, Jesus, the disciples, but even though the people in the crowd were hungry, they didn't want to leave. They wanted to stay near Jesus in case he told more stories or shared more wisdom about God with them. The disciples told Jesus to send the crowds away so that everyone could get something to eat. But Jesus looked at the disciples and said, you feed them. There were thousands of people there and the disciples didn't have anything. After all, Jesus had told them to leave everything behind when they followed him. They didn't have bank accounts full of money and they didn't have a pantry stocked with food in case of a party. They just traveled with Jesus and trusted that God would provide for them. So the disciples looked at Jesus, probably with a, are you crazy kind of look and reminded him that it would take a lot of money to feed all those people. And Jesus told the disciples to find out what they had. And if you know the story, then you know it was a boy who came forward with some loaves and some fish. That boy could have hidden his food in his robes and pretended he didn't have anything to eat when the disciples came by looking. Or he could have gobbled his food up all by himself and made sure his tummy was full and just shared what was left with the disciples when they were asking. And that would have taken care of the boy's hunger, but it wouldn't have been what Jesus was asking. As hungry as he must have been, when the disciples asked for food to share on behalf of Jesus, the boy gave up his five loaves and two fish. And that was all the food the disciples could find. And they brought the measly amount up to Jesus, who blessed it and said a prayer of thanksgiving as if it had been a huge feast. This story reminds us that when we are generous with what we have, it benefits more people than we could ever realize. The boy certainly didn't give up his loaves and his fish thinking that he could feed an entire crowd. He just knew that Jesus wanted him to share what he had with others. Jesus' message about giving wasn't telling people to wait until they were rich and then start a charity so that they could help people, but instead to start right away and share what we have. Now, you donating a toy to a toy drive isn't likely going to miraculously multiply into enough toys for all the kids in town. But maybe because you chose to donate a toy, a parent who doesn't have a lot of money is able to give a gift to their child. And because the toy was donated, now that parent can use their money to buy some extra groceries to cook a bigger meal. And then maybe they would have extras for lunch the next day, which they wouldn't have before. We don't always get to see the big impact that our generosity and good deeds has on the world around us. Only God knows. But we know that God is working away in our life for good. And from the story of the loaves and fishes, we can think that if God helped Jesus feed all those people with a small amount of food, then God must be doing big things in our life too. So this week, Let's take a look around at what we have. Do you have way more shirts or shorts than you could possibly wear? Do you have toys that you don't play with anymore? Do you have free time that you can give and spend some time doing something to help others? Let's think about how we can share things and how we can share something small this week that might make a big impact on somebody else's life. This week, instead of thinking that giving small things isn't worth giving at all, let's remember that God working in our life can do more than we can ever 
imagine. And that Jesus wants us to look out for one another and share with one another in any way that we can.